Hello viewers. Today we'll talk about the most common doubt or questions which which lot of patients of the varicose veins they come to my clinic. That is why I develop varicose veins. What is the reason for this varicose veins? What is the cause for this varicose veins? So we'll see what are the reasons, causes and who are the likely high risk patients who can develop these varicose veins. So we all know what are varicose veins. It is dilated, tortuous, bulged veins under your skin on the legs. So by these veins they bulge. Usually veins carry the impure blood from our legs back to our heart and lungs for purification. So when you stand or sit with the gravity everything will be pulled down but these veins will have to push the blood from down to up against the gravity. So this is done by two things that is first is the walls there are the walls in the veins which will push the blood in only one direction that is upward direction so that the blood flows from down to up. Another is when we walk when we exercise the muscle pumps are called as the peripheral heart same our heart how it pumps the blood from heart to rest of the body so similarly from the legs your calf muscles your leg muscles when you walk or there is movement in the leg these muscles they pump the blood from the bottom to towards the heart and lung for purification so if anything that causes failure of these two things that is failure of the wall or the damage or weakening of these walls in the vein another other thing is the weakness of your muscles or when there is inactivity when there is a no movement of the muscles then these two things will cause the blood get pulled in these veins and when we know that the blood get pulled the pressure in the veins increases and there is swelling in the veins that is causes it's the varicose veins so we know now the cause for the veins is the act either the muscle weakness or the walls in the veins weakness so what is the things or what are the high risk things which causes these two things so one from the muscle point of view when you are standing at one position when you are sitting at one position for a long du duration like standing job people like traffic police teachers even the hospital staff uh, in the operation theater those who stand for the long hours during surgery these are the people's people who develop these varicose veins along with those who sit at the one place without much movement like IT professions or a um, those people who are having a sedentary work sitting at one place these are the people who develop the inactivity of the muscle the muscle becomes weak and the blood won't get pumped from down to up they are also at high risk so these are the two categories where the muscles are affected standing at long standing at one position for long or sitting at one position for the long sedentary life that's the reason in my clinic i see lot of patients with the varicose veins who have either a long standing position or who have a sedentary lifestyle or IT professions. But those people who exercise, who walk regularly, who uh, are physically active and their muscles are good like um, uh, those people who are in the army, those who are training and those people they do usually don't come to my clinic. I won't see them often. So this is the reason the muscle pump is good in them and those patients who are having long standing and um, a long sitting their muscle pump is weak so that those the patients who are likely to develop now other side is now the weakness of the walls so the weakness of the walls why it happens is same those who stand for long duration the these walls when the muscle is not supporting you are standing at one position so the more movement is not there so now the burden will be on walls in the vein to pump the blood from the down. So what happens over a period of time, these walls, because of this over functioning, they become weak and they are slowly, they fail in their functioning. They don't, they won't able to push the blood from down to up. And over a period of time, like five, 10 years, when you are standing for so many years together in your job, 
you will see the failure of these valves and the veins slowly swells and the blood pressure in the veins increases and this varicose veins develop so standing for long duration for years together another important thing is the aging so as we know that everything in our body slowly ages and they become degenerated and weak similarly these walls in the veins so when they are put more burden like long standing or long sitting or they are put in more functioning over a period of time they also become weak and degenerated and they slowly start failing or becoming weak so aging is also one of the reason so you see these varicose veins usually around the age of 50s and 60s if there are no high risk factor along with that we see commonly these veins in the women because in their first pregnancy it baby's weight towards the end of the pregnancy like 8 and 9 months you will see the baby's weight putting pressure on the veins which are coming from the leg especially in the lower abdomen and that causes the blood get pulled up in the veins and the pressure in the veins in the lower veins increases so in the second pregnancy and third pregnancy that worsens and you will start noticing them in um, later half of your life and usually these women they also stand for long time in the kitchen so along with the pregnancy their standing time in the kitchen so lot of women they experience this varicose veins if not the higher grade at least in the grade 1 and grade 2 most of the women we see in our clinic apart from this those patients who are having obesity so similarly effect when you have a huge tummy or when you have a um, so it will be effect will be same to the pregnancy in the ladies so if you have a big tummy so that will put lot of pressure on the pelvic veins uh, veins in the upper thighs and similarly the blood has to pump again this pressure towards the heart so slowly obesity will also cause the high risk factors and failure of these veins failure of these walls in these veins so we have seen age long standing uh, women they experience lot then we have seen that obesity is also one of the reason so the fifth one is family history so those patients who are having a history of varicose veins in their family in their great parents auntie uncle if they are experiencing that they are more likely to have the varicose veins because this family history of varicose veins and the genetic is seen in few of the patients so there is a few percent but more main important is the failure of wall due to long standing or long sitting uh, during the time of pregnancy overweight these are the main reasons for the varicose veins to develop if you have any doubts or comments please put them in the comment box and if you want to ask anything please whatsapp your doubts or reports on the whatsapp number given below thank you